Yeah, album comes out in the month. Um, it's called In Case You Didn't Know. Um, very excited about it. It's it's a bit. Um, it's always that time of the year when you well, time of time for an sorry time for an artist when you actually get your second album coming out, and it's always the toughest one. Um, some people have a great successful first album and sort of pitter out on their second, but I feel like my first album did well, um, and I think it was a good big success. But I think that hopefully the second album can go better than that. Hopefully, I mean. I didn't think I, you know, set the world alight with my first album. I think that the second album could be better than the first and sell more. And um, that's why I always aim to. I think every artist wants to do more. Um, but you know, I didn't sell millions and millions of albums. You know, not that it's like that now the current market. But I didn't get to, I didn't sell over a million. I didn't get close to a million. I got double platinum, which was amazing. Um, so I want to try with this album to, to just to maybe get closer to the million mark if I can. But you just you try. I mean, that's my ambition. But. Whether you hit them targets, you never know. I mean, it, it, it might not. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, like you said, those sales are really are in today's market really impressive still. Yeah. But um, did you have a obviously second album syndrome, which you're just mentioning? Did you have a way to tackle it? Did you think this is how I'm going to approach it? I approached it. That? I approached the second album with a different ideas. I thought, let's not do reggae. Let's not do ska. Let's not do what everyone thinks I'm going to do. Let's come back with something different because I think you got to keep your fans you know, keep them on their toes. So the Scar element is still on the album, I've still got parts of it on there. I think that the Heart Skips a Beat still has that bit of scar -y feel to it. But I wanted to release something that was different and Heart Skips a Beat was that and I wanted to release Dance Me Tonight and that's completely different to the first single and different to what I've done before. I wanted to show a different side of me and I think that as long as the records are still me and as long as I think they're still hits and people go and buy them, then I'm, I'm in a good place. But um, yeah, I'm very happy of all the singles that I've done and. The album as a whole, from start to finish, I feel like it's collectively a really cool album to listen to. I think it's got different styles of music. Every, every track's different. Every track feels different and different. Different goes goes somewhere different. I think when you get albums, it's sort of like the same sort of track all the way through. You know, my album sort of starts in one track and then it goes to another track and it goes up. It's all, it's all, it's all <laughs> different. So it all different changes to it. So it's good. Yeah. I mean, like you say, Dance with Me Tonight is very different to Heart Skip to Beat. Um, did, you say, did you say it's a sort of progression of your sound, this album? Definitely, definitely progression. Um, I don't like to use that word, because it's like I progress and now I'm more mature, and, <laughs> and now I'm moving to, it's like only been a year since the last yeah. album, so not loads of change, but I just feel like, yeah, I just feel like I've got a new sort of sound going on, new different new different vibe. I've got a new approach of, like I said, the, the, old, the, white, the white boy soul kind of record that I've done with Dance With Me Tonight mixed in with a 90s beat with Heart Skips a Bee and then I've got I've got songs in the albums. I've got a few modern contemporary songs in there. I've got like a song is about you which is a good ballad. I've got um I've got another song called, called In Case You Didn't Know which is kind of a little bit more reggae with, with the Tell the World. So I've got lots of mixtures of all different kinds of songs and genres in there which is which is nice. Uh, back on your album you've toured loads already. You did a like a massive theatre tour and then you did a joint tour with JLS. Mm -hmm, that's right yeah. And now you've got Another arena. You got your arena tour now kicking off. I know. Tell me about <laughs> it. I got yeah, arena tour coming, which coming up, which is amazing. Um, again, I mean, completely shocked really that I got asked to do it. Not just not shocked because I don't think I can do it. Just more of a, I was you know the promoters feel that the popularity has grown so much that people want to come and see me perform, which is great. You know, and, and I put such an effort into a live performance. I've got an amazing live band with me. They did the theatre tour. We're going to progress on that this year. Um, we're going to put more and more emphasis on that, get a bigger band together for the, the arena tour. and Can't wait, excited. I mean, we've already sold an O2 out already, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, we've already just added a second date. Um, we've got 18 dates, I think, now for the tour in 25 days. It's going to be a long process, but I can't wait. It's going to be exciting. I mean, the tour, for me, is a, is a chance for me to really see all my fans up and down the country and really just put on a really good show. I mean, it's no, it's no stadium take that tour, do you know what I mean? But for me, doing an arena tour is a massive deal. Um, you know, and if, if my career ends after that arena tour, I'd be happy because it, it feels for me like I've achieved a lot in that short space of time. And, um